Hey you beautiful biscuits, welcome back to the wholesome feed. I'm gonna make some special decks. I don't know what they're gonna be, but they're gonna be something fun. <laughs> because it's hard to feel like you're having a lot of fun this year, right? I was gonna say this summer, I, mean, I feel like the summer should have been kicking off. It hasn't, the summer hasn't really kicked off here because the weather sucks, so that prohibits it. But it also doesn't feel great because inflation is crushing. That's what I keep hearing. Crushing inflation is what I see on all the news headlines and hear on the news podcast. <laughs> now, I listen to a really wide swath of political programs and I read a lot of different political intakes of it from the far woke left to the far mega right because I'm curious how everybody is processing information. You know, media is so biased these days just across the spectrum it's amazing but i think we can all agree i mean some people don't but we can all agree that inflation really sucks right now um if you're super super far left you're probably going to be like no inflation is russia's fault totally up to your opinion for how you want to take why inflation exists but it's definitely crushing a lot of families right now so i thought i would share kind of ways I'm saving money this summer from inflation um, because I, mean, I really see the prices. I know they said that like inflation was at, what did it go up, 9% or something. It had some really low number and I couldn't believe it because I, I, mean, I just know going shopping, filling my car up with gas and going grocery shopping, a lot of the stuff I'm buying is at least 40% higher, oftentimes more. I mean, there is some crazy supply chain or gouging prices going on. Um, I was gonna get a Sam Bucket collection that Costco sells every summer and I've bought multiples of these over these years because I bought them for my kids, I bought them for my nephews and they used to be $10 then they went to 12 and now they're almost 20 <laughs> for the same thing. And that's just like one little tiny thing, right? It's not even a necessity. I'm not buying one this year. I was gonna buy Pear Bear a new set because she doesn't have one. But I was like, you're just using your brothers. I know they're all broken, but too bad. <laughs> so the number one way that I'm saving from inflation, crash, 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 is I'm not doing summer travel. I'm not doing road trips because gas is so expensive. I'm not flying anywhere because um, just the cost of travel this year is so high right now. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just possible. So I'm just, I'm sticking close to home. And often in the summertime, we'll do road trip, we'll do camping. Um, it's not like luxurious summer things, but we'll do some summer things. So I'm cutting back on, we just, we just aren't doing any. We don't have any planned. Um, I, I think we're just going to skip it this year. We're just going to stay home. And that's a second kind of related thing is another way that we're saving money is last year, I enrolled Abraham in a bunch of summer camps and it involved a ton of driving and a ton of like time hanging around because summer camps would last for hours and sometimes it was too far of a distance to bother driving home with the baby because Pear last summer hated driving. She screamed the entire way everywhere we drove. Uh, and this year I have him signed up for one day of camp for one thing. Um, and we just aren't doing all the other camps because it would be constant driving back and forth. The summer camps are all crazy. They're like $500 for a five day camp that's like two or three hours long. It's just crazy. Um, so we aren't doing as many summer camps. We just aren't doing as many extracurricular fun summer stuff this year. In part because they're all full because they're so... <laughs> I think so many parents are like, here, go, we aren't going anywhere for the summer, go to these camps. But also in part, because it's just gotten so expensive. I've seen summer camps shoot up in price. They're like $100 or $200 more than they were last year. Um, and sometimes for shorter hours. And it's just, it's a ton. So we're cutting back on that this year. And we're going to do a cousin summer camp that I'm putting together. And we're going to do some fun nature camps that I put on myself um, that friends can come along to. And we're just kind of taking it easy. We're really being like home bodies this summer to try and stave off that crazy inflation because there's only so much you can do, right? A big part of why, where I notice inflation personally is in trying to get anybody to come help with anything around the house and in food. And those are two big ones. So this year I've just given up trying to get anybody to come help me get anything done in the yard or the house. I'm like, it's just too crazy right now because I kid you not, 
I had somebody come over and help me pull weeds. I desperately needed a weed. I live in an HRA that like will send you letters and then fine you $250 if you have weeds <laughs> that, you know, are, are too visible. Um, and I finally found somebody who did not finish the job and charged me twice as much as they said. And they wanted $25 an hour to pull weeds. $25 an hour. Um, so I'm just doing it myself by, I'm literally like lawn mowing the weeds because I don't have time to pull them all up. Um, and the kids just won't let me do that enough. So I'm just cutting out any like little extra luxuries that I might have gotten, like a little bit of help with, and I'm not talking about like a full on gardener. I just mean somebody, it could be a high school student, just somebody to come help me weed, or I was daydreaming about getting somebody to help me organize the house because I've seen so many mamas on the Instagrams and the YouTubes uh, get their houses organized. I'm like, there's no way. I, I haven't even priced that out, but based on what everybody else wants an hour, it's, it's insane. Um, so I'm cutting back on, on help, basically. I'm just not getting, you know, as much help because everybody is just charging so much for like really inexperienced, crazy labor. It is, it's wild. I've never seen it like this before. If you biscuits were around during 70th inflation, I would legitimately love to hear your stories. What did you do in the 70s and 80s? How did you combat all this craziness? And then with food, um, I've really been looking at sales and buying bulk items on sale uh, because I know then the next time I go to buy them, they're gonna be up even higher. Uh, and I've also just been really focusing on making food stretch and last and really being intentional about how we're eating, what are we eating, um, and also kind of just surrendering to like, you have to buy groceries and so it's just gonna cost. It's gonna be a much bigger chunk of our family's a lot of budget than I would like, but you know, that, that what, what can you do? You biscuits have seen my, my gardening videos, you know that I love gardening. This year I'm hoping all the fruit tree planting and berry bush planting that I've been doing over the last three, four years is gonna pay off. And I'm hoping that we get a lot of our fruit this summer um, that then I can freeze for the winter out of our yard, which will be great for beating inflation. But that's something that you have to start on ahead of time, like the four-year-old trees are just now starting to produce um so it just it takes a long time berry bushes can go faster you could get berries off of uh, uh, some berries off of bushes this year if you plant them now um so it's just kind of thinking like and also looking at it next year if inflation's going to keep going up i definitely want to be able to supply as much of our own food i've been talking to my brother about us going in together and getting chickens so we can do chicken eggs and stuff because everything is just going up so fast and it doesn't look like it's slowing. It looks like, you know, a dozen eggs are gonna be even more next year, which is crazy to think about. So I'm really trying to pad my mental budget of what can I do now that will be smart for next year for beating inflation. So like this summer, these are the things I'm doing now to try and beat inflation. What can I do to keep an eye out for next summer's inflation as well? So how can I be proactive? Um, and intelligent in how I'm doing that. So these are just little things that we're doing and they might seem like really ridiculous ways to try and beat inflation, but I know that they're little things that a lot of working class and middle class families that I know are, we're all doing this together. You know, it's, it, some might be really extreme um, budget cutting and some might just be like, you know what, we can do this we just can't do this and this and this, so we're just gonna kind of, you know, stay here. Um, but I think it's really important to be conscious of that because it's really easy for the prices to just keep going up. And at what point do you start noticing them, right? Like I tried to notice them as soon as they were starting to go up and go, oh my goodness, you know. Um, I buy extra items when I got to the store that, I, that seemed pretty likely to go up in price. I was literally at Target buying my son shampoo I know, a luxury item, right? I was buying them cheap <laughs> Target shampoo. And as we were there, the woman came by and raised the prices with the tags, you know? And myself and several other women that were in the shampoo era were just like, yep. So literally, as you're in the store, the price tags were going up as we were shopping. If inflation is crazy. I would love to hear your inflation uh, busting habits, tricks, or is it just, are you just coming at it from a mental approach? Are you just going, you know what? You can't affect inflation in your day-to-day -day life. All you can do is choose kind of where you're spending as much as you can. Some, some of it's not optional, like existing. <laughs> um, 
but yeah i mean this year we are just pitting off buying anything that we can because everything is so expensive so it's really just like how can we make do with what we have and how can we as a family kind of come together to do stuff that maybe we would have tried to ask for help on or that we would have needed to buy something new for it is just it's a crazy time i hope you biscuits are surviving inflation well it's it's such a weird time to be going through this because i remember hearing about like the jimmy carter administration i remember always hearing that there were these really long gas lines and everything was super expensive and you couldn't get things and it was just miserable and as it kind of inches into that territory as a vibe from what i'm hearing it's really weird to be experiencing so did you expect this to come about like would you have said let's say at the beginning of the pandemic that inflation was going to hit um i don't think i thought it was going to get this bad but i'm pessimistic so i was like let's wait and see because you know it doesn't look very transitory does it <laughs> um i'm really hoping that it is more transitory and levels out than we all think uh, because you know i want it to to go well but yeah let me know in the comments i would love to hear from you i will try to post some more uh reels and things on instagram as well about inflation i haven't gotten around to that uh for a time crunch but i think it's it's a good topic to talk about because gee it is on i would say inflation and crime are the two things that i chat about most with family and friends those seem to be the two big things on everybody's mind right now which is funny because like a year ago it was all pandemic all the time 24 7 there was nothing you could talk about about pandemic have you had the rona are you getting the rona how near are the rona do you think the rona can travel in the air like my mother thinks <laughs> if she sees her neighbors up on the road from like her front door she'll run inside thinking that like the rona will just waft off <laughs> i mean don't let me know if you think that i just want to hear your thoughts on inflation i will see you biscuits in the next video thanks for coming along